fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker. Where am I coming to you from today? Well, if you look off in a little bit of a distance, as we're turning this corner here, might give you a little bit of a hint. All right, it, it looked like it was gonna be closer on the map. I can see it, but I don't even know if you guys can tell what it is you're looking at out there, other than nothingness. Obviously nothing. No, it's not the mountain range back there. It's, it's much closer. You just can't see it as much as I'd hoped. Darn it. Ah, it is the wall. Yes, everybody, the wall. You know what wall I'm talking about. No, 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 no. Not the Great Wall of China. The other one. No, not the Berlin Wall. The, the other one. No, 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 no. Not another brick in the wall. Another one. Which one? Yes, the wall. The wall on the Mexican border. In fact, I'm so close to the Mexican border that my phone has told me that I'm roaming on a, a Mexican cellular signal and it welcomed me to Mexico. Uh, so, yeah, that's how close I am. Um, a little further up the road, I was a little bit closer and I did shoot some video, but it didn't come out. So, yeah, my luck figures. But uh, yeah, anyways, we are really close to the uh, Mexican border. It is right there. In fact, that, that mountain range you see over there on the uh, passenger side, that's in Mexico. A lot of that stuff, everything we were looking at before we turned that corner was in Mexico. So, all right. So I know a lot of you guys are probably going, JJ, what is up with this? Why did I have to turn my phone onto its side or up from its side? Why did I have to change my phone? What? Why? Why are you in portrait mode? This is YouTube. Yeah, 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 I know. Hold on, we got some traffic here. Wow, this is the most traffic I've seen on this road today or yesterday. So, um, so you saw the previous videos. I had to have it facing me because the, uh, the, the, the mount, the new mount that I got for Christmas, I didn't mount it properly for the viewing. Um, and I haven't changed it yet. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to change. It's one of those super duper sticky suctions, you know, that if you if you don't wait for it to wear out on its own after a little bit, it uh, it, it starts it causes damage to the uh, to the suction. Right, let's see if this guy this guy behind me really looks like he wants to pass. So I'm just paying attention to this guy back here. Um, so anyways, yeah, portrait mode it is for right now. Um, but you know what, feedback, hey, uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys think of the portrait mode versus the landscape mode that I normally give? I know this ain't TikTok, you know? Um, and, and no, stop looking for me on TikTok. I keep getting notifications that I got new followers on TikTok. I set that thing up months ago. Haven't put a, I don't think I put a single video up on there uh, or a single TikTok up on there. There he goes, he's passing me. Let me uh, slow it on down for him. There you go, buddy, all clear. All right, um, so yeah, no no need to subscribe to me on TikTok. I hardly even ever on there just to, to look at all the funny stuff going on on there, but anyway. Um, so yeah, portrait mode it is for right now. And uh, give me your feedback, what do, you, what do you like, portrait mode or landscape mode? Uh, and maybe maybe that'll be a deciding factor on what we do in the future. So, um, let's see. I know there's one big topic you guys are all wondering about, and we're going to get to that in a moment. Uh, before we do, I want to I want to do some shout outs. Um, in that that whole month or so that I was on hiatus from YouTube, uh, I, I ran into quite a few of you guys. Ran into I'd say at least 15 of you guys out there out there on the road. Uh, on the on the CB, which I don't have my CB on unless the, the uh, weather's really bad or we're in a, a you know a traffic major traffic backup like traffic is stopped type thing. The only time I turn that thing on. So in one of those situations, if you see me, holler at, holler, uh, holler at me on the CB. Um, otherwise, I, I've seen you guys in the truck stops and the restaurants and everywhere else. Um, and so great meeting you guys. I know there were a couple of you guys in particular where I was in such a tight schedule, I couldn't even, I couldn't even chit chat and I felt bad about that. Uh, so if that was you, uh, I apologize. Hopefully we'll run into each other again. We can uh, have a chance to chit chat. 
Uh, but yeah, there were a couple times, uh, a couple in particular, I, I know that I just, I was on a tight schedule. I had to go. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Oh, uh, I, I don't remember if I gave a shout out to Don in the, one of the last videos, but ran into Don in the cabs class, uh, that orientation class. Uh, he's a subscriber. Appreciate it. We actually just talked uh, yesterday as well. So that was awesome. What is this over here? Ooh, very glittery on the on the driver's side. <laughs> it's like somebody decorated the uh, decorated a, a weed with some tinsel or something. I got a border patrol check. All right, moving on. Uh, also, shout out to everybody who has been responding and giving well wishes to Grandma and the family and everything else here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And um, Grandma, I, would, I, I tell Grandma about it and she just has no concept of YouTube. None. Zero. She's, she's always been a technophobe. She's never owned a cell phone. Well, that's not true. I, I got her a jitterbug once. One of those uh, cell phones, you know, specifically for, for elderly people. So simple to use. Anybody could use it. Not her. She couldn't figure out how to use that thing. She put it in the trunk of her car and kept it there. <laughs> like, grandma, that defeats the purpose. <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, she's never been on the internet except, you know, whenever I show her a YouTube video. That's about it. So she really has no concept, really, of what this YouTube is or what the whole deal is. She just doesn't get it. That's okay. Yeah, she doesn't have to. I still love her. She's my grandma. Anyway, uh, she's doing all right, by the way. She's doing she's doing a little better over the last couple days. So, again, thank you to everybody who's, uh, who's uh, given her some loving. I appreciate it. So, last I left you, I was heading into El Paso. The El Paso area, the El Paso metro area, but on the New Mexico side of the border, uh, which is, by the way, where I'm at. I'm in New Mexico, uh, which is like Mexico, but newer. And uh, made my delivery, and I was needing to find another dropping hook because this trailer, these trailers, man. So let's get into it. Trailer Watch 2022. <sighs> these trailers, as you all know, picked up a bad trailer when I'm trying to get something done trying to go on a regular run I ended up picking up a bad trailer figures right so I, I do another drop and hook and get an even worse trailer uh, and I got to get rid of that I pick up another one and it's better than the other two trailers but just barely uh, fuel mileage is terrible all that stuff you all saw it in the last video no need to recap it some more um, so here we were again looking for another drop and hook and I'm in the El Paso area what am I going to do I find another drop and hook. I did. I found actually a really good load. I had to deadhead all the way to Arizona for it. Uh, Douglas, Arizona, to be exact, which is on the border of Mexico and New Mexico. Uh, like way down there. Uh, middle of nowhere. Four and a half hours of deadhead from El Paso. And, and of course, back, because this is going back east, it's going back to Georgia. So I'm... Currently, you know, I picked up the load uh, actually last night, and I'm still not even back to El Paso. Uh, I still have a, a, a bit to go on that one. Uh, about 45 more minutes. So, yeah, fun times. So I get there last night, uh, fairly uh, late in the evening. It's dark, absolutely dark. It would have been perfect to, to look at the stars, except it was a bit cloudy and full moon. So at least I had the full moon and a really good flashlight. I looked up, looked at this trailer up and down. Not inside and out though. I couldn't look at the inside because it was preloaded, already sealed um, with one of those cable seals. Can't break those. So yeah, um, outside it looks it looks halfway decent for a Landstar trailer. It's what would I would consider a halfway decent trailer. Um, it doesn't have any aerodynamics. I think it actually has the small tails on the back, the really small ones, so maybe a little bit of help. Uh, but no skirts, no large tails, no, uh, I don't even know what they call that thing on the bottom. Looks like a ramp <laughs> that they stick on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't even have that. It's a 2017, which for prime standards, it, man, that, that trailer would be about retired by now. It's an old trailer. Get that, get rid of that thing. But for Landstar's trailers, that's kind of middle of the road. Um, 
it, it's overdue for an inspection, but overall it looks pretty good. Uh, no air leaks, I tested that uh, thoroughly, uh, even overnight, uh, didn't lose any air pressure, so that's a positive. Uh, the tires look pretty decent, uh, no unusual wear. Uh, so yeah, not, not a bad trailer. I think it's a good enough trailer for me to keep and go ahead and do that run. Uh, let's talk about the fuel mileage though, because you know, I normally average around 8 to 8.5 on my fuel mileage. That's interstate driving, um, moderately heavy load, you know, in the 30,000 pound range, 30 to 35,000 pound range. Um, this load I've been tracking now for 201 miles. That's how long I picked it, how long ago I picked it up. Um, it's 40,000 pounds, so a little heavier, uh, not, not maxed not maxed out I can I can actually haul up to 45,000 pounds uh, 44,820 something or whatever so so this is 40,000 pounds in this trailer and I've been doing these back roads which have ups and downs twists and turns um, slowdowns you know you got slowdowns for every time you get into a town you got to slow all the way down to 35 and then speed back up that all affects the fuel mileage so how's the fuel mileage in these last 201, uh, 202 miles, 7.1 miles per gallon. That's not terrible. Um, let's see, something's going on up here. Got a couple people on the side of the road. Probably just border patrol, but we will uh, slow it down and pay attention just in case. So 7.1, yeah, it's not terrible. I'd say that's a little lower than average if I had a better trailer, but definitely a lot better than the previous trailers. Previous trailers, I know I'd be in the uh, probably 6.1. <laughs> so I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Happy enough. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh -huh. Yeah, Border Patrol. They got the, the camera up in the sky and everything here. And we got another one up in the ditch over here. So they may be seeing some activity around. Which means I just need to pay extra attention, make sure nobody's running across the road in front of me. There he is right there. All right. Now I can speed back up. Uh, so, yeah. Um, this trailer, I think, is all right. So this load is going to Georgia. So Arizona to Georgia. Pays really well. Uh, very, very good. Uh, definitely, you know, you know me. I don't worry too much about the per mile thing. I, I'm more focused on the per day. And... Uh, speed limit slowing down there we go what, I, what was I telling you slow down all right come on okay um so I have my goal per day and I don't mention what it is because you can't compare apples to oranges and when you're comparing rates from one company to another it's all gonna look different because they all do it differently that's what I have definitely found out so each company you gotta you gotta figure out what's gonna work for you and what's gonna get you the money and what is average and above average for them well this is definitely above average uh, a very good very good load I'm happy with it um, it definitely covers all the deadhead that I'm doing um, covers you know not having the bestest bestest of the trailers um, but still pretty good so yeah I'm happy so here's the thing so I pick up this load yesterday afternoon right before uh getting to the uh to the shipper i had i was way early to the shipper so i had stopped uh for a little bit to take a little break and found this load picked it up but i didn't start my actual mile, turn left onto New Mexico, 136 east. thank you um i'm gonna turn here and stop sign i gotta pay some attention so, but I didn't really start doing the actual trip planning until I was at the receiver yesterday. Turn left onto New Mexico, 136 East. All right, so they don't stop going the other way. Cross traffic, I should say, so. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Should have stopped a little further back, but couldn't see anything back there anyway, so. Good for you. 
Walmart. I know, everybody's good. Go into the comments. No comments from the peanut gallery on that one. <laughs> I know better. All right, moving on. So <clears throat> I'm sitting there, I'm getting unloaded, and they unloaded that thing quick. I was in and out in like 35 minutes. Uh, but while I was doing it, I'm doing my, my trip planning, and I realized I'm running really, really low on my 70-hour clock. That happened every once in a while at Prime. Rarely happens here at Landstar with me because of how I do my loads. Um, but I've been on a streak. Yeah, I've been on a, a run. I've been running and running and running and going. And so, yeah, I'm like, uh-oh, I got to start doing the math now to see if I'm even going to be able to make it. I've already committed to this load. So, uh, I'm a little nervous. I got to be honest. I'm a little nervous. So, I do the math. I have plenty of hours to make it all the way to pick up the load, which was last night. No problem there. I get enough recaps, you know, for today's hours uh, to be okay. So, no worries there. Slow back down again. 45 miles an hour. And a red light. Um, so, that's all good. I'll be able to run a full day today. But then, tomorrow, I only get 25 minutes back on my recap. 25 minutes. And you're like, why did you even work 25 minutes? Well, it was, uh, what was it? It was shop work. Yeah, I was being in the shop, had to, to move around in the shop work, and I know I coulda, shoulda, woulda, blah, blah, blah. But I do, you know, keep my hours legit. I really do. As legit as I know how to keep them without going overboard. I do watch them like a hawk. I don't waste hours and time, but <clears throat> I do keep them legit uh, just in case. So, um, oh, sped up a little too much there. Got to slow her back down a bit. So, um, so yeah, got 25 minutes coming back to me tomorrow. Not good. Uh, but, okay, so tomorrow I'll have to cut my day short a little bit. What about the next day? Nope, next day I'll only get like six hours back. I'm like, oh, that is not good. I don't know if that's going to cut it. I just don't. So now I'm going to have two short days in a row Am I even going to be able to make this? So I'm doing the math, and the following day, which is delivery day, Friday, is due at 10 a.m. in the morning, but I get 11.25 hours back that day. Obviously, I ran a busy full day that day. So I'm just going to have to wake up real early in the morning because all those hours come back to me at midnight. Um, what do we got going on here? Got a wide load on the side. We got troopers, three troopers over here. What's going on here? Just take it nice and slow. Don't need to cause no fuss. Pretend y'all don't see me. <laughs> All right, there's the input. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to wake up really early in the morning on Friday morning and uh, and make it out there and for me it's really early obviously with you know anybody who's still on reefer is like what's early you know i get up at one two o'clock in the morning for my three o'clock appointment I'm like yeah i don't do that anymore why because i don't have to that's why i could but i don't have to i ain't gonna no thanks um drive in you just you've got so many options you get to choose your own loads out here i love it and I can choose not to have those rare loads that are at 3 a.m., you know, 2 a.m., 4 a.m. There are some out there, but most of them, delivery times are open windows or, you know, during the day or 8 o'clock in the morning is one of the earlier ones. So, yeah, I don't really worry about that. <sighs> so, but yeah, Friday morning, early, early, early. Got to get up, got to run, uh, got to go through Atlanta, so I really have to plan it out well so I'm not late because this is a set appointment it's not a window set appointment 10 a.m. so yeah anyways I'll make it though but I'll be running off recaps and then what am I going to do after that am I going to take a 34-hour reset am I going to run off of recaps 
Uh, this place is not far from, from Tennessee, so I do want to go up to Tennessee and do that, uh, that Tennessee to Oklahoma run back and forth. Um, but am I going to be able to do that on recaps or do I need to take a 34? If I need to take a 34, that's going to be on Saturday, which means I can't start until Sunday. Do they even have loads picking up from Tennessee on Sunday? I don't even know. <laughs> so, huh, I guess that will be uh, one of my future videos. I'll have to talk about that. So, hang in there. I will let you know once I figure more things out. All right. In the meantime, talk to you guys on the flip side. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.